kick your center hips forward, kick your butt. Awesome. Side lunge, stretch your arms up. Sit your hips back, back, back. Keep your chest nice and high. Awesome, now take reverse lunge. Tuck your hips. Add a twist. So your arms come up, twist at the bottom, arms come up, step it together. One more time each side. Awesome, give yourself some room. You're going to walk it out, top of a push-up, hold, and then add your push-up, walk your hands back in, stand it up. We'll go for 10 rounds. Keep it up. You should be almost done with your 10th push-up. Hopefully you have some good music going on in the background. After your 10th one, hold the top of your push-up, step your right foot forward, sink your hips, twist. Right elbow to the inside, twist. Other side, world's greatest stretch. One more time each side. Look at your thumb as you open and twist. Awesome, now come right into a bear plank. We'll hold for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. 30 seconds. Squeeze your core nice and tight. Almost there. <laughs> Let the shakes happen. Keep dragging your wrist towards your knees. And release. Awesome job. All right, now that we're nice and warm. We're gonna run through three circuits, hitting power and strength today. So for your four, four circuits, we'll have four moves. The goal is to run through each circuit three times. 45 seconds, minimal breaks in between. All right, so starting with the first move, you're going to find that bare plank position that we just did for warm up. You're gonna have a break dancer. Leg extends, opposite elbow comes back, bring it back. So you pass through that bear plank each and every time. All right, second move, you're gonna have a touch jump with an alternating punch. So jump, punch, jump, punch. That's move number two. Move number three, you're gonna come down to your forearms, plank jack, okay? You can also do this from your hands. A little bit more stable though with your forearms. All right, your fourth and final move here, grabbing your dumbbell, one or two. You're gonna rock it right by your chest. Squat, lateral leg raise. Squat, other side. You just alternate picking up each leg. Any questions? No? All right, down on the floor, starting in that bear plank position. You have your break dancers. Make sure you pull that elbow back. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Coming around a check form. 
Yes. <laughs> nice, Laura. Make them clean and intentional. Don't forget opposite elbow pulls back like you're pulling on a bow and arrow. Drag that elbow behind you. Last 10 seconds here. Reach to that foot that you're kicking out. Final five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. You're gonna have your tuck jump with your punch. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Keep it up. See those knees. Yes, Paulina, nice. Christina, give me some high knees. Punch, high knees, punch. I want you to get those knees up, working into your core. Final 10 seconds here. Yes, Lauren, good job. Three. Two, one, release. All right, you're going to have your forearm plank jacks. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. It's only 45 seconds. Squeeze your butt here, draw your ribs in. And just keep it going. You're using those inner thighs to zip your legs back together. Halfway there. Don't let those hips bounce too high. Final five, four, three, two, one. That's awesome. Stand it up, grab that dumbbell. You have your squat with your alternating leg raise. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Get that booty nice and low. Weight back on your heels. Final 15 here. Keep those hip points facing forward. Don't let your hips open up. Five, four, three, two, one. Release, that was round one. Back down to the floor, round two. Here we go. Three, two, one. Break dancers. Breathe. How can you create a rhythm here? Get lost in this movement pattern that you're creating. You're almost there. Reach that elbow back. Extend through that foot. Release. Good job. Stand it on up. Tuck jump. Punch. Here we go. Three. Two, one, let's go. Stay with it. Power, baby, get those knees up. Halfway there. Good job, Christina. Laura, get those knees up and punch. Knees up and punch. Yes. A little extra core for five, four, three, two, one. Release. 
All right, four and plank, coming down, starting in three, two, one, let's go. Just have one foot out at a time. You need to catch your breath, but you don't stop. Where you hold that plank, you don't collapse. Keep it up. You're halfway there. Last 10 seconds here. And release. All right, last one. Grab that dumbbell. Here we go. Three, two, one. Squat to lateral leg raise. Good job, breathe. Don't forget about your core here. Don't let your stomach relax, belly button to spine. Press through your heels as you lift that leg. And release. All right, we have one last round of the circuit. So coming back to that bare plate, we start back in five. Four, three, two, one, let's go. And you speed it up just a little bit. Good job, everyone, keep it up. Try not to let those hips get too high. 15 more seconds. Draw that elbow back. Back, back, back. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. All right. Stand it on up, touch up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Protect that face, get those fists up. Even in your run, in your high knees, keep your fists protecting your face, keep them up. 15 seconds. Good job, Paulina. You got it, one more touch up. Just think one more. Give yourself the opportunity for one more. Three, two, one, release. All right, get down to the floor, plank jack. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Keep it up. You're almost there. Final 15 seconds. Lower those hips just a little bit. Paulina, you got it. Final five, four, three, two, one. Stand it on up, grab the left dumbbell. Starting back up in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Don't let that leg just flap up. Make it intentional. Good 
Keep it up. Final five, four, three, two, one. Release. Moving on. Circuit number two, same structure. We're going to start with an RDL. Grab your dumbbell. You're going to trace your legs as you hinge your hips back. You stop midway. Come on up. Again, hinge at your hips. You can keep a slight bend in your knees to do so. I'm not rounding in my back to try to get my weight lower. I'm literally sending my booty back, back, back. That's what allows me to have my hands go down further. Stand it on up. That's your RDL. Your second move, you're gonna have a dumbbell plank pull through. So coming to a top of a push-up, you're gonna grab your weight, drag it to the other side. Notice I say drag and not pick it up. We're not picking up the dumbbell. We're dragging it on the floor. Give yourself a nice reach. Getting into our obliques. All right, third move, you're gonna have a reverse tabletop march. I love this one. Make sure your fingers face towards your feet. Plant them right by your sides. Drive your feet down, lift your hips up. You're gonna reach opposite hand to toe. Reverse tabletop march. For your fourth move, you're just gonna jump side to side. You're gonna touch the floor, jump sideways, touch the floor. That's all you're doing is traveling side to side. <laughs> all right, get your weights, starting with your RDL. Starting back up in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Make sure you lift straight up. Don't try to pick your weight above your knees to stand up. A lot of foot pressure on your back. Just drive your feet down, stand it right back up. Almost there. And release. All right, going to your dumbbell plank, pull through. You can amplify it by taking it to a bigger plank. I feel like you get a little bit more fire in the core, but we start back up in five, four, three, two, one, go. So again, that bear plank or plank, pull that dumbbell through. I'm gonna run and check your form. Good job, Christina, nice. Good job, Lauren. And release. All right, flip it over for your reverse tabletop march. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Get those hips up. Reach. Reach for like the outside of your ankle. Halfway there. Make sure your fingers facing towards your feet. Don't have your hands facing behind you, towards your feet. Final five, four, three, two, one. All right, stand it up. You're jumping side to side. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So you feel a nice gust of wind as you jump side to side. Try not to make a small shuffle, but pick up both feet at the same time.
15 more seconds. Yes, Paulina, nice. Good job. Good job, Laura. Three, two, one, release. That was round one, baby. Let's get round two in. Grab those weights. RDL number two, and three, and two, and one. Let's go. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, hinge your hips. Slight bend in the knees for tight hamstrings and come straight up. Remember, no rounding in the upper back. Don't walk out at the top and arch your back. Keep your ribs drawn in, pelvis slightly tucked, slight bend at the knees. Come on up, you squeeze your glutes. Don't walk out your knees all the way. And release. All right, let's get that dumbbell pull through. Bare plank or regular plank. Here we go, three, two, one. Give yourself a nice reach. I also find that if my dumbbell is horizontal, it's easy to just grab it. Not by the handle, but by like the ball area. Just grab it. It's just easier, easier grip. And then the dumbbell doesn't lift off the ground. Squeeze your glutes. Don't let those hips tick tock. You're almost there. And release, I live in line. Turn it over. You're gonna have your tabletop march in five, four, three, two, one, go. Your hands have to be out beside you. They can't plant underneath of you or you're gonna have less stability. Keep those hips up. Don't let them touch the ground. You're halfway there. Good job, Laura. Clean, nice and clean. Laura, you can pick up your tempo just a little bit. Just brace your core and just go for it. Reach, reach, reach. Five, four, three, two, one, release. All right, stand it up. We're gonna jump side to side. Remember, we're not shuffling side to side. Pick up both feet, jump. Three, two, one, let's go. Both feet jump. Use your core, use your arms. Use your whole body here, jump side to side, yes. Much better this round. Almost there. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and release. Round two, check, round three. Let's go, grab that weight. We start back up in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, RDLs. Make these your best ones yet. Maybe you slow it down, grab a heavier weight. I don't know, make any adjustments that you need, but keep your focus on everything that's going on, the hinge, the weight distribution on your feet, all of that fun stuff. Shoulder blades squeeze behind you. Almost there, just a few more rounds. And release. All right, bare plank, dumbbell pull through. 
Here we go. Three, two, one, go. When you plant your hand down, see if you can press into your index and your thumb finger. Also into your other finger pad. Don't just dump the weight onto your wrist. Use the whole arm, the whole hand for support. Final 15 seconds. Don't cheat yourself. Give yourself a nice reach. You're here for five, four, three, two, one. Release. All right, jump side to side. Everyone stand it up. Final time in three, two, one. Let's go. Whew. Breathe. Go a little further. Side to side. Feel how good it feels to just pick up your body. Send it to one side. Halfway there. Can you jump with a smile? Fake it till you make it. Come on. Almost there for five, four, three, two, one. Release. All right, circuit number three. You catch your breath, I'll demo. You're going to have an alternating pistol squat. If you have a chair or if you have your sofa, a bench, whatever you got, go for it. I'm going to use my sofa. I'm going to lift one leg. I'm going to sit it back. Come on up, other side. All right, so I have support for my pistol squat, but I'm still sending my hips back, 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 as if I'm sitting down on this chair. Once I feel the support, I stand right back up. So don't get cozy on the bottom. All right, that was move number one. Move number two. You're going to come into a side plank. You're gonna dip your hips, lift them back up, come to the other side. Dip your hips, plant your hand down. Keep your hips lifted though the entire time. All right, more stability, do it on your forearm, same thing. Then you're going to have for your third move, you're gonna pass, the dumbbell under your legs. So you're gonna have your bicycle legs in this boat pose and pass the dumbbell underneath. Weave it back and forth. Your last move here requires no weight. You're gonna come down to your stomach. You're gonna have one of my favorite exercises. You're gonna have your Superman. Come on up and fly. Squeeze your elbows behind you. Reach your arms back out in front of you and come down with one. Those are your four moves. Any questions on this last circuit before we begin? No, can I get a thumbs up if we're good to go? Yes, awesome. All right, starting with your supported pistol squat. Find your bench, chair, sofa. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. You're almost there, 15 more seconds on this side. Make sure you're alternating legs. Nice, Lauren, good job. And release. All right, we're going to have our side plank. Pick either your forearm or from your hand, starting in three, two, one. Get those hips nice and high. You dip them down, you bring it right back up. With your hand, 
by doing your um, side plank from your hand, it gives you a little bit more range of motion for your hips. But again, if you need that shoulder stability, please take that forearm. And release. Good job, everyone. Now you grab that dumbbell. You're going to have that bicycle kick with that passing under. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Keep it up. You got it, Paulina. Breathe and get right back. Looking solid, Christina. Keep it up. Oh my goodness, Laura, your cat is so cute. <laughs> so, so cute. All right, Lily. You have your Superman, flip it down to your stomach. Give your arms room to reach out long in front of you. We start in five, four, three, two, one. All the way down, lift it on up, elbows back, reach up and down. Every time your elbows drop back, you find a little bit more lift, lift in the upper back. Add resistance to your arms. Pretend like you're moving through peanut butter. It's not as easy to just drag your elbows behind you. Last five, four, three, two, one. Release. Stand it back up, grab your weight. Round number two for those crystal squats. Starting back up in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. You're halfway there. Good job, Laura. Yes, good job, Laura. And you're almost there. Final five, four, three, two, one. All right, go to your side plank forearm or hand, starting in three, two, one, dip those hips. I want you to picture that whole side body. Feel the squeeze, try to picture it. Even if you're only referenced for like, Human anatomy is like from middle school or high school. Just go back to that mental picture and really think about it the whole entire time, that whole side body, your obliques into your back, into the front of your core, just lighting up. That's the type of intensity that you need to have for all of these moves. Weighted or unweighted, you give it your 100%. All right, grab a dumbbell. You're gonna release out of that. Time to pass it under. We start back up in five, four, three, two, one. You're doing great, keep it up. <laughs> Laura's cat. <laughs> no, 
I, he or she knows I'm talking about her or him. <laughs> and release. All right, flip it on over. You have your Superman. Get on your stomach. Starting back up in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Remember, you're moving through peanut butter right from the start. Add that resistance. You don't have to go super fast. In fact, this is slow and control. I want you to feel it all out. Can you bring those shoulder blades to kiss behind you? 10 more seconds. And release. Guys, one last round. One last round. All right, so starting with your pistol squat. Maybe this time, as you find a support and you come back up, you hop switch at the top. You can do this with your dumbbell or no weights. All right, starting back up in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Last and final round. Trying to add that hop of that weight is no joke. You're halfway there, keep it up. Make it a powerful step up if you're not adding that hop. Drive through that heel, stand it up quickly. Final five, four, three, two, one. Release on down. Side plank, let's go. Three, two, one. You can bring your hand physically to your core. Just give it a little extra reminder that this is for this part. Don't let anything else, any part of the body overcompensate. Let it all be in the obliques. You're here for 15 more seconds. Good job, Laura. Final five, four, three, two, one. Release. Grab your dumbbell, sit it back. Starting back up in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Can you believe you're almost done with this workout? I feel like it went by so quickly. We only have one more move after this. So keep that focus. Don't stop now. Squeeze your core. Don't let it get into your lower back for three, two, one. Release, flip it on over. Last round, last two final round. Here we go, three, two, one, Superman, go. You want a little extra? You add like a three, four second hold with those elbows back. Then reach them forward, come on down. Last 10 seconds, everyone. Five, four, three, two, one, let it go. All right, good job. Clear some space out, let's stretch it out. Start with those shoulders. Give me a nice, big, big 
sumo squat. Once your hands are on your thighs, dip your right shoulder in. Come on up, left shoulder. Awesome, now straighten your legs, keep them nice and wide. Bring your hands down. Bring your left hand, grab your right shin, twist. Other side, right hand to left shin, twist. Try to keep your hips from moving side to side. So that twist is coming just from your middle of your back. And release. Bring your knees down. Step the right foot forward. Left knee drags back. You're in this low lunge. Hands come to your thigh. Breathe. Left hand up, right fingertips down. Side stretch. Bring the left hand down. Lift your hips, send them back and straight in the front leg. Try to relax. All the hard stuff is over. All right, bring that right knee back. Step the left foot forward. Scooch the right knee back. Hands come to your left thigh. Left fingertips down, right hand up, side stretch. Awesome, hands frame your front foot. Send your hips back as you straighten your front leg. Now step your right foot to the outside of your right hand and come into a low squat. Bring both elbows, push your inner thighs away. Right fingertips down, left fingertips up. Left fingertips down, right fingertips up. Bring both hands down, lift your hips up. Heel till your feet closer to one another. Forward fold. Cross your right thigh over your left. So you're forming this X shape. And then shift your hips back. Stretch out the left IT band. And then slowly switch sides. So now right foot plants, left side crosses over the right. Once you plant both feet down, get your shoulder square right in that center space and then shift your hips back. Forward fold, feet come together. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Head is the last to come up. Good job, ladies. You crushed this afternoon workout. Hopefully you feel much better afterwards. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you, see you next week. You're welcome, bye. Bye, thanks.